Sheffield Island is the last island on the western end of the Norwalk Harbor on the northern side of Long Island Sound. The original structure, the cottage, was built in 1826 to house the keeper and the original tower. This building was put into service in 1868. She served until 1902 when she was retired. The local family purchased it. They maintained it as a private residence until 1986 when they actually sold the property to the Norwalk Seaport Association with our dream to keep it open and accessible to the public. Because it's out on an island, it does get hammered pretty much by the weather. Uh, so now it's, it's basically time to do some maintenance and work on the lighthouse before it gets any worse. I felt that even through the walkthrough process that Synaxo was right for the job. They are very attentive, we're asking the right questions, and I knew that this was the company I wanted to hire. Historic architectural preservation work is really specialized in that it embraces modern construction techniques with respect for the history of the building. While we want to make the repairs necessary to bring the building back, we don't want to make it new. We want to bring it to a condition that makes it sound and solid for the future. Synaxo is a building envelope contractor. We approach the building envelope holistically, so we try to provide a turnkey service for our owners when they need to deal with their building envelopes. The Sheffield Island Lighthouse project is a great fit for Synaxo. It incorporates many of the types of work that we perform, such as masonry, cast iron repair, high performance coatings, architectural painting, window restoration, carpentry, as well as doing some interior structural repairs, roofing services, and also some interior finish work. There were many constraints out here, both logistically getting out here, as well as some of the sequencing of the work as it pertained to access and materials. So we needed to lay out the work in a way that we all understand how the work gets connected and what we're gonna need to execute the project so that we don't have any holdups as far as material or equipment goes. So planning ahead for this project months in advance so that we can you know, land on the beach and be ready to go. Uh, took a lot of investment up front, but that really pays off down the road and it's how we plan all of our projects. One of the biggest pieces of the logistics here was actually the mobilization where we contracted a 75-foot landing craft, loaded up all of our equipment and tools and brought them out here on the island, landed on the beach and drove them off, which was one of my better days at work. We started with a lot of the masonry work because we make a mess first and then progressively do cleaner work, not making a mess over more of the finish work. One of the ways to approach a successful restoration is to respect the history of the structure. The craftsmen who built it were fine craftsmen, but the tolerances were maybe not perfect. And also things move over time. I mean, the, the lighthouse has shifted and settled and we want to respect that. So we try to match the existing lines of the structure instead of using a level to make it true or square. We want to bring it back to its current condition, but restore it in a way that it'll perform for a long, long time. So a major portion of the work here at Sheffield was restoring the cast iron light, and that involved repairing the cast iron, as well as replacing rotted sections of cast iron, most specifically one of the window sills. We actually took the window sill off and recreated it, and then installed it back on to fit right where the old one was. As part of the high performance coating that we put on the lighthouse, we actually went back and scraped down through the different layers of coating that have been put onto the lighthouse over its history. And we found that the original coating was actually a light gray. It wasn't white. So we actually matched that color and repainted the lighthouse to match its original color. When we approach a restoration or preservation project, we try to consider ourselves stewards of the structure and take all the care that we can to make sure that we're giving it what it needs to continue its history. Sheffield Island is a special place. We're honored to be a part of its preservation. While it's challenging being a steward of a building, it also is very satisfying to know that we're, we're helping to continue its history into the future.